Hi everyone, welcome to your second lesson of CC VC words. So we're looking at initial constant blends. Uh, we started looking at them yesterday. We're going to continue doing that in today's phonics lesson. So what you'll need is a piece of paper. If you haven't got that, go and get that now. Pencil or a marker um, so that we can do a little bit of practice, okay? Um, also, if you haven't done so just yet, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go on to YouTube and you need to either search up Miss Chang uh, Phonics on YouTube or you need to scan this QR code so that you can revise phase two and phase three sounds before you start your phonics lesson. So if you haven't done that just yet, you need to go and do that now so you can pause the video and come back to it in a minute. Okay, so now that you've done that, we're going to get on with our lesson. All right, here we go. So yesterday we looked at vowels and constants and we talked about how there are five vowels. So five vowels that are in the English alphabet. Okay, we're just going to have a little bit of a look at what those letters were. So what are our vowels? They are, do you remember what they were? They are, yes, A, E, I, O, and U. So there are five letters that are our vowels in our alphabet. Uh, the rest of those letters are called consonants. I'm just going to highlight this word so you know this word is our vowels. Okay, so there are five of them. I'll write the number five here. Okay, so five vowels and the rest of the letters, they're all consonants. Okay, and that's what we're going to be focusing on because we're looking at initial consonant blends, which are the letters that are at the start of our word. Okay. So um, if we have a look at the words that are on this page right now, I'm going to have a go at blending them to make a slightly different sound. So remember, I'm going to put my sound buttons a little bit closer together so that you can see that it's not a digraph. It's just that we're blending them. So they sound a little bit different. Okay. So um, this one here, I've got k, l, cl, Okay, you can follow Miss Chang, you can say it after me as well. Okay, so I've got that one. So, k, l, cl, cl, e, k, cl, e, k, click. Next one, s, p, sp. So I've got sp, a, t, sp, a, t, spat. Let's have a look and we're going to try and blend um, these two consonant sounds um, to create a new blend. Okay, so let's have a look at these ones. So quite a lot of these ones are common ones which we find in words. So you'll see this quite often when you read books. Um, so let's have a little bit of a look. We'll start with this one over here. Okay, um, and then we're going to go across. All right, so we've got f So you can have a go at doing that with your fists as well as I'm doing them. The next one, sp, sp. This one, g, r, g. This one, f, o, f. St, st. This one, d, r, d. This one, remember, this is our tricky one. T, r, tr. Sounds a little bit like ch, doesn't it? Okay, this next one. K, l, k. This one. K, r, k. S, w, sw. B, r, br. And this one, g, r, g, r. Nice. 
nice work well done all right let's have a look so now we're going to try and blend some of these words for reading okay so some of them have digraphs some of them have trigraphs see if you can spot them okay before i has spotted them all right so we're going to start with the first one so i know that there's initial constant blend that i need to blend together so the first one i can see is an oh full okay so i'm going to put the sound buttons a little bit closer together so you can see full and this next one, it's not a, e, u, it's a trigraph. So I'm going to put my sound button underneath and show that it is a trigraph. It's this one. What's that one? That one is air, of course, air. So we've got full and then air. So if we put it together, it's full, air, flare, air, flare. Okay. The next one here, I've got t, u, tr, okay, tr. And this one, I can see there's a digraph there. There's a digraph, which is this one, which is A, A, okay. And the last one there, which is U, okay. So I'll have tr, A, U, tr, A, U, tr, A, U, tra trail, trail, okay. Next one, k, U, k, U, cr, cr. E, E, M, mm. Cr, E, M, mm. Cr, E, M, Cream, Cream. Next one. K, O, K, O, Cool. Ow, M, Cool, Ow, M, Cool, Ow, Clown, Clown. K, O, Cool. And this is a trigraph. I know that we have trouble spotting this one. So this one is this one. Okay. Can you remember what this one is? This one is ear. So I've got cl, ear, cl, ear, cl, ear, clear, clear. T, u, t, u, t, u, t, u. A, a n tr a n tr a n tr a n train train s w s w s w s w e so i've got s w e n so e and then this one s w e n swing and the next one we have D, R, Dr. Put them a bit closer together. Dr, U, as in U and U, 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 U. This is U, U, P, Dr, U, P, Dr, U, P, Droop, Droop. Now we're going to have a go at spelling the pictures that we see. So I've got my picture here. Uh, you can draw your frame, uh, frame if you want to, or you can just write on a sheet of paper if you like. So I'm going to grab my marker and I'm going to have a go at writing this word. So you can have a go before I show you how to write this word. All right. So our word today is star. Okay. So I can hear st, st, st. So that's my blend, my initial blend, initial constant blend. St, ah, st, ah. So st, ah. There's three sounds there. Okay. That's why there's three boxes for my phoneme frame. So the initial constant blend is st, t, t, st. And then Ah, ah, as in ah, when you go to the dentist, ah. Okay, so that's our digraph there. Okay, next one. See if you can have a go at this one. This word is brown, brown. So we've got b, r, b, b, r, ow, n, brown. So I've got my initial constant blend, which is B and R makes brr, brr, ow, n. So there's four sounds. Again, that's why I've got four boxes there. Brown. See if you can have a go at that one. So it's b, b. Remember to use 
your thumbs, if you're not sure, remember this way. So when you're looking at it, b, the b, e, d, b, e, d. Okay, so b, I'm going to have a go at writing that, b, ow, 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 brr, ow, and then mm, mm, brown. Okay, next one. This one is stairs, stairs, st, st. So it's st, st, st. E, e, s, e, s. So there's four sounds. See if you can have a go at that one. All right, let's have a look. S, t, e. If you remember, e is a trigraph. So it's e, e, st, e, s, stairs. Okay, next one is float. See if you can have a go at that one. Float. So we've got f, l, f, l as our sound. F, o, t, four sounds. Float. So we've got f, f, this one. F, l, 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 o, 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 o. O and then t, 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 float. Then the next one we've got is spoon. Spoon. Sp, 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 spoon. Spoon. So see if you can have a go at that one. Spoon. Sp, ooh. Remember this is ooh and ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, so I've got the ooh sound here. Ooh. Sp ooh, mm, mm, spoon. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to have a go is we are going to see if we can read these words and match the picture up. So let's have a look what's in our box and see if we can find the right word for to match our picture. First one we've got here. Hmm, what could this one be? Let's have a look at the words and see what we think it might be. Hmm. So I think it is, it's two girls that look the same and they look like they might be a twin. So I know straight away that t -t would be my first sound, twin, tw twin. So I'm going to look for the t sound at the start of my word. So I'm going to have a look and that's the sound that can't be that one. So this one's got the k -k -k sound at the start. This one's got, oh, this one's got t. So I'm going to read this word. T Ooh, I'm going to put my sound button. So, oh, sorry. Um, press the wrong button. There we go. T ooh. So, t ooh. T ooh. True. 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 A. Mm, train. Hmm. That's not the word twin. I'm going to keep looking. It's got the t. No, that one's got the p sound. This one does. T ooh. So, t w. Tw. 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 E. Mm, twin. There we go. I found my words. I'm going to drag that and pop that next to that. All right, next one. This one is a, looks like a fruit. Uh, it looks like a plum. See if we can find the word plum. Do you think this word's plum? How do we know that that word is not plum? Look at the initial letter. Let's have a look. So it cannot be plum because it starts with a s sound. Okay, let's look at the next one. K Does that sound like p? No, and we read this word before. We know it's train. So there's this word here. P, p, p. So we've got p, l, pull, pull. I'm gonna put the sound buttons in. Pull, ah, uh, mm, plum. Very good. So I'm drag that, pop that next to that word. Next one. Oh, what's this one? This one looks like a clown, doesn't it? All right, let's have a look. This one. Can this one be cl, cl, out? No, because we know that makes a s, it's a s, and then w as well, w, w, s, w. So it's not clown. Uh, this one, let's have a look. So I'll get my sound buttons. K, l, cool. Cl, ow, n, clown. 
There we go. We found our word. There we go. Next one. This one looks like someone who's maybe swimming. Okay, so let's have a look at this word. We've got s, ooh, sw, sw. All right, pop those sound buttons together. Sw, e, m, swim. There we go. Found our word. Last one. Uh, we read that earlier before, and there's one more left. Let's just double check that this is the right one. T, u, tr, tr. A mm, train. There we go. And that's the last one to match our picture. All right, we're going to have a go at reading some of these tricky words. We did them yesterday. See if you can have a go and remember what the tricky bits are. I'm going to highlight the tricky bits for you. Um, actually, I'll do the sound buttons first and then I'll highlight the tricky bits. So we've got her, a, m. Remember, what is the tricky bit? Tell me what the tricky bit is. Is it the hurt bit? No. The a, mm mm. It's the v part. So the v also has an e at the end, but we don't say the e sound. We don't say eh. We don't say the eh sound. We just say v, ha, v, have. Okay, so that's the tricky bit. Let's have a look at the next one. So it's s, a, uh, m. Mm. What's the tricky bit in this one? It is, of course, the o. Oh. It's pretending because it actually makes the ah oh sound instead. It's not, doesn't make the ah oh sound. It makes the ah oh sound very confusing. So, s, ah, uh, mm. Two tricky bits in this word, s, um, sum. Okay, again, there's also the E at the end, but we don't say that sound at the end. So two tricky bits in this word, sum. Next word we've got here is j, ah, uh, st, st, just. J, oh, sorry, we'll use the other color again, sorry. Uh, J -a -s -t. It's just so the tricky part here in this one is the st. so remember when we've been looking at the um, consonant blends this is at the end so this end consonant blend so it's like it's the same as what we've been doing but it's at the end of our word rather than the start of our word okay so that's a tricky bit this one we've got um l i k Remember, this is the one that we haven't learnt just yet, but it's a split digraph. So it's the bit where it has the I sound. So we say I, but it's split up with a letter here in the middle, the K, okay? And I've just split the I and the E up and it makes the I sound. So when we say it, it's L, I, K, and we don't say the E at the end, all right? So L, I, K, like that one. And then the next one we've got here is K, uh, mm. And what's the tricky bit? Yeah, you guessed it. It's the same as sum. So there's two tricky bits, of course. So I've got the art bit and the mm part of it as well. So trying to confuse us by pretending it to be an o, oh, but instead it makes the up uh sound instead. So it's k, a, uh, m, mm, come. Okay. And then we are going to practice spelling our tricky words, all right? Tricky word today is was. You practiced that yesterday. The tricky part of this word is in the middle. So we say oh, we say oh, was, was, but we don't write the oh sound. We have to write the, that one, okay? See if you can have a go at that. Done, all right, let's see if you're right. So we've got wo, wo. Write that down. What? And the tricky bit. Did you get it? It was actually ah. What ah? Was was. That's how we say it. <laughs> if we were to read it using our phonics, but it is the word was. Okay. So the tricky bit I've um I've written in pink so you can see. Um, and then yesterday we talked about how some, some, sometimes when we say the word, we say z instead was, but it is actually was, was, okay. And the next word is you. So see if you remember that one. This has two sounds, uh, y and then u, you, okay. So the tricky bit is the end part. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first bit, y, okay, y. And then ooh, you, ooh. This is just something that you have to remember. The ooh, this, these letters make the ooh sound. 
I know, really tricky. See if you got that one. If you didn't, again, you can have a go at doing that. All right, do you want to have a race? Let's have a quick race. Uh, see how many times you can write the word view because this is a really hard one that we need to practice, all right? Um, this time I'm only going to give you five seconds, all right? Five seconds to see if you can beat Miss Chang, all right? Count down, get your marker ready. Uh, get your piece of paper ready. Ready? Here we go. Five. Four. See how many times you can write it. Three. Two. One. Zero. Stop. Okay. Let's see if you beat Miss Chang. This is how many times I wrote the word you. I wrote it. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, seven times. So if you wrote more than Miss Chang, if you wrote more than seven times, you are fantastic. Well done. Keep practicing those tricky words. I know they're really hard, very confusing, but the more you practice, the better you will be at your writing. Okay. Um, all right. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to have a go at writing um, a sentence. Okay. Your sentence today, get your pencils ready, is I sat on the bench and had my toast, okay? So I want you to write that sentence down. So I'll break it up so you can do the first bit first, okay? So I sat, I sat. So when you're writing it, write the first bit, I, as in me, I. Remember, that's a tricky word. We say I, but it is actually just one letter. It's just like this, okay? See if you can have a go at doing that. So I sat, at, sat, okay, I sat on, 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 I sat on, and then the next word is the, the, okay, that's a tricky word, see if you can have a go at writing the, I sat on the, b -e -n -ch, bench, okay, four sounds for bench, I sat on the bench, I sat on the bench, okay? Then when you've written that, we're going to keep going. It's a bit more to the sentence. I sat on the bench, okay? You can point to each of the words that you've written. I sat on the bench, okay? The next part of your sentence is and, okay? And, and, and had, Ad, had, my, my is a bit of a tricky word, my, so mm, I, doesn't make the I sound though, remember, doesn't make the I sound, so you got to think about what letter needs to go there, it's not the I sound, my, and the last word is, and had my toast, t, o, s, t, toast, okay, so that's your word. Oast, toast, toast, all right? So the sentence again is, I sat on the bench and had my toast, okay? Get your fingers ready, Woo, get your fingers ready and we're gonna to point to the words that you have written. I sat on the bench and had my toast, okay? If you wrote it and it looks like this, what's wrong with your sentence? Tell the adult near you, what's wrong with, what would, what's wrong with the sentence if you wrote it like this? What is wrong with it? All right. Did you tell your adult that you forgot? Absolutely, finger spaces. I can't see the words. So if you wrote it like that and you've got your finger spaces, mm, you need to make sure you remember the finger spaces, okay? If you wrote your sentence and it looked like this, tell your adult what's wrong with this sentence. Tell them what's wrong. This time you remember the, but what did you forget in this one? Have a good look and then tell the adult what's wrong with that sentence. Okay, you ready? Did you tell them that you forgot the, the full stop? That's it. You forgot the full stop at the end. So say here, you've got your whole sentence, but you forgot the full stop. Okay. Then the lucky last one. This is what your sentence should look like. So it reads, um, I 
sat on the bench and had my toast. I sat on the bench and had my toast. You can read it back to your adult uh, that's working with you. You can read the sentence again and maybe you can change the word to something else if you like. I sat on the bench and had my... And you can change it to a different word if you want to. See if you can write different things that you sat on the bench and you had, okay? Uh, remember to have your finger spaces, finger spaces, and your full stops at the end of your sentence. And of course, we didn't talk about this just yet, but your capital letter. So your capital letter at the start as well, okay? So that is it. Um, that is the end of um, your phonics lesson. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye.